Good day to everybody in the YouTube world. Welcome to another edition of Red Dirt Fast Bros. And I'm going to keep the tradition alive. It's going to be May. We're a little late to get that going because it's like almost at the end of May. We're approaching the Memorial Day weekend. And we're out here to do some fishing. We got our pedal drives today. So the last time, that's going to be my second time bringing this thing out. Uh, the last time, didn't quite go as planned. First time on this first on her maiden voyage, kind of like the Titanic. We not really sank, but we sank when it came to fishing. But we're gonna try to make up for it today. I'm trying out a new lake, or at least a new lake for me. I've actually uh, driven around this lake many, many times, but never actually fished here. This is my first time here, so I'll pop that cherry. Let's get loaded up, get rigged up. So I went all out today, brought five poles. Tom here only brought his normal four. But let's get this going, guys. We're wasting daylight. This lake here basically has the same profile and layout of that other lake we were at last month. And I'm kind of hoping when that sun peaks out a little bit. I mean, they're saying it's supposed to be cloudy for most of the day, but maybe we'll get a few peaks of sunshine here and there. good one just a tree pounder oh, look at there folks yep that's what I've been after my whole life it's kind of some old road bridge it's no longer in use okay so right here right behind me is the old railroad bridge I've seen it on the map and I was like that'd be pretty cool to check out so this is a perfect opportunity for me to show you guys that this is the old railroad bridge. Uh, it was built in 1930. This line actually ran from like Kansas City and went all the way down to the border of Mexico down here in Texas. So it actually goes through, it used to go through our old hometown, but um, it got abandoned back in, I can't remember, maybe the late 70s, 80s, somewhere up in there. But yeah, uh, it's kind of like a sentimental deal because that's what I do for a living and all that. So it's pretty interesting to know that this line used to connect to the rail line that i work for as you can see right there look it says 1930 um on the bottom right above the water line i think i stirred up all these birds over here this is like their home base there's so many of these mud nests up here well i do apologize but i had my camera off just thinking because it's been a slow morning and i managed to get this decent size like little one pounder on a worm that's the first time i caught a bass on a worm in a long while but my first bass here at this lake out here <laughs> so, no, all right thanks for playing i was beginning to wonder if we're gonna get a video today but yep let her recover off you go it's like 12 30 in the afternoon now after like five hours on the water finally get one i don't know how dom's doing he said he hasn't gotten anything in a while or hasn't gotten a bite. He's on the other side of the bridge still, but uh, yeah, we're gonna try to get more, hopefully. I figured for sure there might be a bunch lingering around in these sticks over here. Oh, just got a nibble. Oh, some of the bitches take it. Is he got it or no? Oh lordy, dang, that's number two. If I can get him to land him, if I can land him. Get in there, son. Nice, nice. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Number two, about the same size as the other one. Maybe just a hair bit smaller, I would say. But yeah, I right, let this guy go or whatever it is. Later, guy. He may or may not, he probably thinks it's like work calling him or something. He's gonna be like, who's this, what? Hello? Hey. Yeah. Are you still on the other side of the bridge? Yeah. Get over here, I just caught two. Hey, I fucking just lost a big one over here. Really? Yeah, fuck man. It was at least a three pounder. Damn. 
these uh, ones I got were like maybe one pounders, maybe a pound and a half, but right here along this uh, this rock ledge along the road by the pump yeah. house, that's where I caught them. Okay, I'm on a head that way. Soft plastic, so. Fucking had them on the crankbait, the white one. Yeah. Fucking hit it, and he was bringing it in, reeling it in, and then he just fucking shook it off, man. Fuck. Yeah, it's a good old, good old bass. See, all they needed was a little bit of sun. Vitamin D is good for everybody. I don't care what they say. Get out in the sun. It's good for you. And cover the back of your neck, too, because you don't want that to burn. Because I have to tell you, it's not a good feeling when it does. All right, so let's continue on, guys. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Got a blind eye. It's a nice one. Alright, one more look at this one. Pretty, pretty bass. Uh, got the skunk off. Let's let her go. Jason. I knew I was going to get a decent one today. That probably makes up for that one I lost earlier. Oh man. That one's still going to sting. Oh well. Coming out of a lake, always check for zebra mussels. You don't want to spread them around to different lakes. That doesn't just go for boats, that goes for kayaks as well. Yeah. You know, sea dunes, water, jet skis, whatever they're called. Any type of water. Any crap. type of water. Make sure you uh, clean it off, especially right here in Texas. I don't know how it is anywhere else, but here in Texas, especially out here in the West Texas area, been uh, coming on pretty strong lately. So we try to make sure there's nothing on there. We're going to clean them up as soon as we get them home. Make sure they're nice and dry. Yeah, man, that's gonna do it today. Unfortunately, we didn't do very well. We suck at the lakes. <laughs> that's why we stuck to like rivers and creeks for so long now, but we try to expand our horizons, try to hit these open lakes out here, but uh, it's worth a shot. So that's why we got these pedal drives. So well, we caught, so at least we didn't get skunk. I finally, I caught one worthy of the, uh, uh, my pedal drive. It was worth it. It was a good, you know, couple, three pounder, maybe pretty good put up a good fight just the only one i caught i missed one another big one earlier in the day but you know it is what it is yeah uh, so we're about seven percent battery we're just gonna end it right here so we thank y'all for watching until next time we'll see y'all soon stay safe